So, liebe Leute von heute, herzlich willkommen zurück hier bei Genshin Impact für die Playstation 4, wo wir nun uns, äh, sagt die Höhle des Löwen des Synth Drogenhändlerings begeben müssen. Denn im letzten Part haben wir uns, äh, sagt auf die Suche nach dem Verräter innerhalb der Spina di Rosola begeben. Und ja, es gab drei Verdächtige. Am Ende hat es sich herausgestellt, dass Marcel. Der Leiter einer Tochtergesellschaft, oder besser gesagt eine, einer Schwesterorganisation, der Spina di Rosula, höchstwahrscheinlich, was er sagt, mit der Ermordung von Jacques zu tun hat. Dann sowieso, er sagt, mit dem Vertrieb des Wasser des Urmeers. Und sowieso, er sagt auch dafür, dass der Mord an Jack, den Vater von Navi, an die Schuhe geschoben wurde. Er hatte die finanziellen Möglichkeiten, er hatte die finanziellen Mittel, dass wir eigentlich das gleiche jetzt eigentlich ist. Er hatte, er sagt, die Möglichkeit, sich als Gardemeckers äh, zu besorgen. Er hat den nötigen Einfluss. Aber bevor wir das, er sagt, natürlich jetzt erstmal richtig herausfinden konnten und die Beweise dann, er sagt, fast der Öffentlichkeit oder auch der Justiz zuspielen konnten, wurde uns leider mitgeteilt, dass vor Gericht jetzt, er sagt, im Fall, ja, des Wassers des Urmeers und dann, er sagt, sowieso noch der Fall der, der Entführung der Mädchen seit über 20 Jahren, Tataglia jetzt vor Gericht steht. Hm? Der Graf Tataglia Scheile, einer der elf der Fatui, wird er sagt jetzt der Entführung und des Handels des Wasser des Urmeeres verdächtigt, vor Gericht gestellt. Und wenn wir es beim besten Willen jetzt er sagt, keine richtigen Beweise für seine Unschuld und für die Schuld von Marcel finden können, ja, dann sieht es irgendwie ein bisschen schwarz aus für den Grafen. Wie dem, wie dem auch sei. Wir begeben uns jetzt auf jeden Fall zur Produktionsstätte hin, die dann höchstwahrscheinlich jetzt, der Sack, unter Wasser sein müsste. Währenddessen versucht der Sack Navia für uns ein bisschen Zeit herauszuschlagen. Gut, dann wollen wir uns doch, er sag mal, unter Wasser ein bisschen umsehen. Es geht jetzt um das Meer. Zum allerersten Mal tauchen wir jetzt. Uh, Wasserwelt der Zukunft. Äh, können wir jetzt hier ah, mit R1 ein bisschen beschleunigen? Gut. Teleportationspunkt unter Wasser freigeschaltet. Aha, was ist das jetzt? Okay, da ist auf jeden Fall jetzt der Eingang. Aber irgendwie so ganz richtig zu kämpfen. Genau. Wir werden sicher im Inneren etwas Außergewöhnliches finden. Währenddessen in der Opera Epicles mhm, versucht, wie schon gesagt, Navia uns ein bisschen Zeit zu verschaffen, bis wir die nötigen Beweise des Grafens Unschuld gefunden haben und der Schuld von Marcel. It would appear that I must repeat my question again, Mr. Tartaglia. Do you accept the charge that you are the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case? To be perfectly honest, I don't understand your country's complicated court system or the reason why I'm being charged with something I've never even heard of. However, 
I did hear that people who have been charged can choose to participate in a duel to clear their name. Is that right? In which case, as long as I accept the charge, I can have an all-out fight with that champion duelist Clorend, right? I've got to admit, that's one of the most enticing offers I've ever received. When I privately sparred with her last time, she was obviously holding back. Real disappointing. Hey! Don't you understand? You're currently the prime suspect for a major case. This isn't the place for you to be looking for fights. Oh? Sounds like the Hydro Archon wants to lecture me on the ways of the Opera House. Then why don't you duel me too? I'm the kind of student that learns best in the heat of battle. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant. Alas, it would appear that communication with the defendant is going poorly. And we have made very little progress. In that case, let me explain everything from the very beginning again. The goal of this trial is to determine the culprit behind the serial disappearances case. <laughs> that case had nothing to do with him! You've got the wrong man! Huh? What's going on? <sighs> Why is she interjecting again? <laughs> I told you it couldn't be one of the Fatui Harbingers. Miss Navia, this is the second time you've interrupted the court proceedings. I only tolerated your behavior last time because you were able to provide the court with a key eyewitness. But that was an exception rather than standard court protocol. I can very well charge you with contempt of court for your interjections. Oh, please. Did you ever think I had any respect for this place's pointless theatrics? We can put the discussion aside for now. I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here to charge the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case. And if my charges prove true, then Tartaglia here will be proven innocent by default, correct? Oh, a young lady has charged in and offered to clear my name. How fascinating. Well, I'd gotten half bored to death by all these rules and procedures anyway. So I'll take you up on that offer. So, Your Honor, is there nothing else for me to do now? You may take a seat for now in the audience, but that doesn't mean the suspicions against you have been lifted. Now then, Miss Navia, who is the person you would like to charge instead? That person is... Tja, es ist natürlich Marcel. Marcel, the head of Confrerie of Cabriere! Huh? What Confrerie? Never heard of them in my life! I've heard of them, but weren't they Spina di Rosula's sister organization? Oh, is this going to be a friends to enemies type situation? Please let me remind you, Miss Navia, that charging someone is an incredibly serious matter. Committing to the charge also means taking on the legal responsibilities associated with it. And if the charge fails, depending on the circumstances, you may also be charged with the crime of making a false accusation. Knowing this, do you still wish to charge this man? Yes, I do. In that case, I declare the charge to be valid. Miss Navia and attorneys, please take your places on the court. Members of the guards, please contact Mr. Marcel right away so that he may stand trial. Kurze Zeit später fand sich ein gleichermaßen verwirrter wie fassungsloser Marcel in der Rolle des Angeklagten wieder. Mr. Marcel, you will not require an attorney. Is that correct? Ah, apologies, sir. It all just happens so quickly. I still haven't figured out what's going on. I think an attorney won't be necessary. This is probably just a misunderstanding between me and Navia. Very well. In that case, since both sides have now arrived, Miss Navia, please present your charges. I would like to take everyone back to three years ago, to the case of Callus the Unfaithful. Only through elucidating what really happened in that case can we connect all the dots for the serial disappearances case. Navia, do you really think that I was the one who killed your father? Come on, why would I do that? Callus was my benefactor, and remember both you and I only ran to the scene when we heard the sound of a gun. 
If that's enough to make me a suspect, wouldn't that make everyone at that banquet a suspect as well? I... Uh, I think there's no point in getting into the specifics right now. The audience doesn't even have the big picture yet. Even I'm... <laughs> struggling to remember some details of that case. Exactly correct, Your Honor. I must refresh everyone's memory about that case before I can explain my charge and reasoning. I see. In which case, I will recount the findings about that case as originally recorded by Maison Guardianage. Okay, Widerlegung beginnt. On the day of the murder, Spina di Rosula hosted a large banquet in a countryside estate owned by the Conferie of Cabriere. During the banquet, all attending guests heard two gunshots from the courtyard. When the guests arrived at the scene, they found the primary suspect, Callus, holding a gun, while his acquaintance, Jacques, lay dead from a gunshot wound. The guards' investigation did not recover any other firearms from the scene. As a result, they concluded that the suspect's first shot must have missed, while the second must have taken Jacques' life. The suspect did not dispute this conclusion, and also declined to defend himself in court. Instead, he chose to prove his innocence through a duel. Callus was defeated by champion duelist Clarand in the ensuing duel, and soon succumbed to the injuries. These are the known facts about the case. Und nun wird es Zeit für Navias Widerlegung. The one with the motive to kill was Jacques, not my father. And even so, Jacques still had no reason to pull the trigger. Uh, in truth, the third person shot Jacques first, and was shot in turn by my father when my father seized the gun from him. After that, the true culprit turned the third person into water, erasing all traces of him from the scene. <clears throat> Thank you for the summary, Your Honor. Of course, the guard's conclusion appeared quite sensible to us at the time. However, we should revisit the case now that we've gained new information about the abilities of water from the Primordial Sea. Okay, dann fangen wir mal an, die Widerlegung. Also, Conferie de Cabaret, nach Widersp... Am besagten Tag des Vorfalls veranstaltet Spina de Russell ein Bantekt auf dem Lanzis der Conferie de Cabaret. Okay, das war richtig. Während der Feier hörten alle Anwesen zwei Schüsse von außerhalb des Anwesens, die Untersuchung gab, dass Kellis mörderische Absichten hegte. Aber ist das wirklich wahr? Widerspruch. Äh, mal sehen. Da müssten wir jetzt eigentlich hier die Zeugenaussage von Jacques Familie nehmen. The testimony of the victim's family confirms that Jacques had thoughts of assassinating Callus when he set out for the banquet. However, in the end he reconsidered and instead shared everything with Callus, hoping to seek the latter's protection. Unfortunately for Jacques, the true culprit had already considered this possibility and had sent out another assassin. Gut, das ist jetzt, er sagt schon mal, zu unseren Gunsten. Tatorten und unwiderlegbaren Beweisen. Als die Gäste am Ort des Geschehens eintrafen, hat der besagte Verdächtige Kellis eine Schusswaffe in der Hand, während sein bekannter Herr Jax eine Schusswunde erlag. Den dramaligen Ermittlungsergebnissen zufolge war eine Flucht für andere nach Begehung des Verbrechens unmöglich, weshalb Kellis in diesem Fall als Mörder identifiziert wurde. Aber den neuen Ermittlungsfolge trug Kellis beim Ausgehen keine Waffe bei sich. Darüber hinaus ergab die Untersuchung, dass bei dem Vorfall möglicherweise eine dritte Person anwesend war. So. Protokoll der Kellung, Kellis Fall. Äh, Moment, da muss ich mal kurz mal nachsehen. Okay, da müssen wir auf jeden Fall das Wasser des Urmeers Meers reinpacken. Okay, das war jetzt, er sagt, nicht richtig. Aber die Sachen mit Kleidungsstücken. Then turned to shoot Callus, only for Callus to wrestle the gun from him and kill him instead. Gut, die Sache mit der dritten Person hätten wir jetzt, er sagt, auch geklärt. 
Und hier wiederum kommt er, sagt die Sache mit dem Wasser des Urmeers. A pile of clothing was found at the scene. The guards once believed they were used by Jacques as a costume to disguise himself. But now it is clear that the clothes were proof that there was a third person at the scene. And that they were turned into water after committing the murder. Since it was raining that day, the culprit was confident that they could use the rain to wash away all traces of their dissolved accomplice. Realizing this, the true culprit caused the hired assassin to dissolve into water, leading everyone to believe Callus was responsible for Jacques' murder. This is the true version of events. Naja, allerdings fehlen uns jetzt, er sagt, noch die stichhaltigen und er sagt, schwerwiegenden Beweise. Wait, you're telling me something as dangerous as water from the primordial sea has been used for all these years? What a great theory. It also explains Callus' and Jacques' respective motives. I guess they didn't shoot each other after all. Mr. Marcel, you are the one being charged with the crime. You should provide a rebuttal if you wish to prove your innocence. Ah, but I think I agree with everything Navia just said. In fact, there was nothing in her speech that directly implicated me. Then, may I ask some questions? In my opinion, we primarily need to determine two things. One, do you have the evidence to back up your claims? <sighs> I'm afraid not. At least not at this very moment. Boo! <laughs> If you don't have any evidence, you should just go home! I may not have the evidence with me, but I know where I could go to collect it. If we look up the deserted clothes against a record of people who went missing around the same time, we should be able to find a match. Considering the serial disappearances case, The guards probably kept careful records of all missing persons from around that time, regardless of age or gender. That makes sense to me. Monsieur Nivellet, I would consider this to be a reasonable investigative direction. Hmm. Huh. Why do I feel like Farina's acting a little differently today? Maybe she's scared of embarrassing herself again? Alternatively, she's become more diligent after charging an innocent citizen in the last trial. My second question has to do with the ensuing duel. If the truth is indeed as you described, then why didn't Mr. Callus explain himself in court? If he had testified that a person had been dissolved, he could have at least mounted a defense. I thought about this too. And the answer is actually pretty simple. He felt there were things that were more important to him. The dissolving power of water from the primordial sea is an important secret for the true culprit of the serial disappearances case. My father could have exposed it for all to see, but he chose to take it to the grave. At that time, Spina di Rosula was in dire straits, and his reputation had already been shattered. He had no guarantee that going forward with the truth would allow the culprit to be brought to justice. What was certain, however, was that it would paint a gigantic target on my back. Boss once told me that Demoiselle had already been selected as the next target of the serial disappearances case. What? If the secret had gotten out, the culprit would have fought an all-out war with Espina right there and then. I wouldn't have been the only one in danger. All of us would have stood to lose our lives. Of course, the guards might eventually figure out the truth of the matter and determine that we were in the right. But what good would that do? How can a hollow verdict protect anyone? Had this opera house ever given my father any kind of confidence in its brand of justice, Spina di Rosula would have had no reason to exist. But by staying silent, we retain the ability to deter our opponents and continue the stalemate. I was able to become Spina di Rosula's president, which made me harder to target, as well as giving me more time to grow and learn. And once I have figured out the truth and stepped up to the challenge, I will do what this opera house cannot, 
and restore my father's truth and honor back to him. So, you mean to say, your father intended to die in the duelist's ring? That's right. Do you have any proof? Of course. All you need is to ask his opponent, Clorand. I don't need your apology, your guilt, or your support from the shadows. You don't have to do anything for my sake. But since he entrusted his will to you, Clorand, you should tell us the truth about his sacrifice. Um, so, during the duel, did you believe that Callus was intending to die? Yes, I did. As a champion duelist, I've fought many battles and taken a countless number of dishonored lives. In my line of work, I've seen all kinds of people give their all for the faintest hope to continue living. Some were determined, others passionate, and some even manic and twisted. Just one look and I can tell if a duelist is hoping to live or if they're looking to die. I hereby swear on my name and honor as a champion duelist that Mr. Callus never intended to leave the ring alive. <sighs> Since that's your testimony, I have no more questions. It appears there really are good grounds to reopen this case. I concur. However, Miss Navia, you still have not explained the link between your father's case and the serial disappearances case. Right? What she said was fascinating, but kind of beside the point. Wait, weren't they just talking about the Serial Disappearances case? Of course, Your Honor. The two cases are connected via a matter of timing. In my father's case, the culprit intended to kill both Jacques and Callus. As a result, they planned to act after hearing two gunshots. And, at the end of Linny's trial, the culprit also only dissolved the victim in front of everyone because they realized they were at risk of being identified. The culprit could only time their actions so precisely if they were already at the scene. Allerdings stellt sich dann Ersack auch noch hier die Frage, wie konnte Ersack so an dem, genau in diesem Moment, als der Gendarm seinen Boss Ersack verraten wollte, ihn er sagt wiederum auflösen. Wie konnte das er sagt genau in diesem Augenblick schaffen? Da muss es eigentlich ja vorher irgendeine Art von Trigger ja, ja geben, um das Wasser des Urmeers zu aktivieren. Muss es ja irgendwie. Weil er hat ja das Wasser beim besten Willen er sagt nicht auf der Bühne eingenommen. Und generell hat ihn auch niemand er sagt mit dem Wasser angegriffen. Also musste er das Wasser ja wirklich schon intus gehabt haben. Und irgendetwas musste es, musste es aktiviert haben. Diese Sache muss irgendwie noch geklärt werden. Coincidentally, Marcel attended both the banquet and the trial. So that's why you suspected me. Ah, even after hearing your reasoning, I still can't help but find it a little preposterous. I'm used to it though. You've always been an impulsive and sentimental child, Navia. It's one of your most endearing traits. No need to appeal to pathos. I won't try to refute your points one by one, but even if everything you just said was true, can you prove that I was the only person present at both events? On top of that, does a person have to be physically present to control the timing? Can't someone remotely monitor the place? Uh... What she can say to that. I know that even with that, you might still think you can reduce the list of suspects with some further investigations until I'm the only one left on the list. Alas, who won't feel at least a little hurt by an accusation of murder from a girl you see as your own daughter? But if I were to dismiss this completely, you'd also think I'm not being considerate of your feelings. Ah well, let Uncle Marcel teach you another lesson. Do you know what the biggest flaw in your reasoning is? I suppose you're gonna tell me anyways. It's timing again. I'm a businessman by trade. From that standpoint, there's no reason for me to kidnap young women. It's a high-risk action with nothing to gain. 
In addition, I left my home in Snezhnaya when I was young to come to Poisson and work in some trade. My business only thrived when I received Callus's patronage. Sieh mal einer an. Marcel stammte also ursprünglich aus Snezhnaya. Mhm, das ist ja wirklich sehr interessant. Das würde dann eigentlich auch bedeuten, dass er theoretisch eine Verbindung immer noch nach Snezhnaya hat und vielleicht er sagt auch von vornherein ein Untergebener der Fatui sei. Wäre er sagt nicht unwahrscheinlich. But the disappearances began before I ever stepped foot in Fontaine. Uh, I do apologize, Demoiselle. This was my mistake. No, it's not your fault. I'm sure he had come prepared. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Would you like to check the date of my first business license against the first known case of the serial disappearances? You can also take a look at my border entry records or ask my friends and family when I left Snezhnaya for the first time. Could those records and testimonies do something to appease the unspeakable anguish in your heart? Oh, seems like she got the wrong guy. At this rate, Nadia will be convicted for falsely accusing him. I think you've done a superb job of dissecting your father's feelings as he neared the end of his life. But aren't you going against all of his wishes and expectations right now? He wished for you to become more rational, collected, and conscientious, instead of dwelling only on your own feelings. Once you've learned to be more considerate of others' feelings, and to stop rushing headlong into things, you'd have met most of his expectations. Also, so langsam ist sicher, läuft der Fall hier ein bisschen aus dem Ruder. This isn't just about me. And it never has been. The biggest difference between me and the rest of the victims is that I still have the ability to search for the truth. While that same agency has long been taken from then. The people whose families were destroyed by synth abuse, the people who lost their loved ones to the serial disappearances, and the people who suffered tragic ends due to their sense of justice. Many people's images are flashing before my eyes. I'm sure some are coming to those of you in the audience as well. And whose image do you see, Marcel? Is it a man named Vache? <laughs> oh, so you do know that name. I'm merely surprised you'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. I was waiting for you to say that. Okay, kurz so vorm Eingang zum Hauptquartier des Strippenziehers. Was ist denn jetzt, was hier passiert? Wir müssen da doch erstmal rein.